Hello, this is Rahul from Learning Simplified. In this video, we will learn what is meant by byte and word addressable memory. Generally, we can store data in the form of zeros and ones. Suppose this is a memory device, we can store either a zero or one in this device. Suppose if we group eight such devices, eight such devices can store eight bits. And we call this as one byte. That is, we group 8 bits and we are calling that unit as 1 byte. In the same way, when we group several bytes, when we group several bytes, then we call it as 1 word. For 1 byte, there is a fixed value of 8 bits. But for 1 word, there is no fixed value of how many bytes comprise a 1 word. I assume that you have listen these words such as 32 bit machine or 64 bit machine this generally denotes the size of the word size of word this 32 bit machine means the size of its word is 32 bits 64 bit means the size of the word is 64 bits 32 bits is also 4 bytes 64 bit is 8 bytes so now let us consider a 32 bit 32 bit machine in 32 bit machine we have one word equals 4 bytes and let's draw a memory let's draw a memory this is a memory this is a memory of size 4096 by 32. I'll tell what this 4096 and 32 is. These are words in the memory, many several words and the size of each word is 32 bits which is nothing but 4 bytes. E size of each word is 4 bytes and we have 4096 such bytes 4096 sorry 4096 such words starting at the 0th word we move forward to 4095 words so this is each word suppose let us say uh, some random some random word in between let us say this as i word i then the next word is at location i plus 1 and the next word is at location i plus 2 and this goes on now let us have another memory which shows even the bytes bytes as well this memory is also 4096 by 32 these are words in the memory and this is 32 bits or 4 bytes which means each word has 4 bytes it comprises of 4 bytes 1 2 3 and 4 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 now let us start writing this this memory also has 4096 words or 4096 locations now let us assume the address of this byte is j address of this byte is j then the next uh, byte address will be j plus 1 the next will be j plus 2 then j plus 3 then we go to the next word j plus 4 j plus 5 j plus 6 j plus 7 j plus 8 j plus 9 j plus 10 j plus 11 so these are the addresses of each byte and these are the addresses of each word in the same memory these both these two are same memory now let us find the relation between these two we know that 
this address the address of this byte equals the address of that byte is equals the address of this word which means j the address of this byte is j the address of this word is all word is i we have seen here so we can conclude that i equals j that is this i equals j now we go to the next word that is i plus 1 so i plus 1 equals j plus 4 similarly i plus 2 equals j plus 8 that is this is j this is j plus 4 this is j plus 8 what we can note here is the address of this word is at j then the address of next word is at j plus 4 which means we are adding the number of bytes in the word to get the next successive location of the word. We are adding plus 4 to this location to get the next location of word and we are adding plus 4 to this address to get the next address of the successive word. So in byte addressable scheme byte addressable byte addressable to reach, to reach the next word location we add the number of bytes that each word comprises this is word addressable scheme word addressable which means we reach the next word by uh, adding one to the one to the current location now let us see how many bits are required to represent these many locations. We need to address these locations with, uh, with binary numbers. So we need to convert this into binary. 4096 must be converted into binary which is nothing but 1000000. One followed by eleven zeros, which is nothing but two power twelve. So we need twelve bits to represent four zero nine six locations. With the help of these twelve bits, we can address each and every word here. Okay, each and every word we can address with you using twelve bits. But what, but how do we address if we want to address each byte? We know that the number of bytes equals 4096 into number of bytes per each word. How, what are, what is the number of bytes per each word it is 4, which is nothing but this equals 2 power 12 into 2 power 2, which is 2 power 14. So 14 bits are required to represent each, each byte address, byte address. Now we will find the number of bits required to address each word and each byte in a memory. To do that, we must find a value n such that 2 power n is greater than or equals to size which means we have to find a value of n such that this value is greater than or equals to size. Size is nothing but the size of memory, memory size. For example, let us consider this value. Here this value means the number of words in that memory, number of words and this value means number of bits per each word bits per word which is nothing but we can find the number of bytes as well 16 bits means 2 bytes so this is the number this value is the number of bits per each word now let us find the number of bits required to address this memory these many by these many words so 2 power n must be greater than or equals to 4096 
So we have to find the n value. There are two ways to find the n value. One is uh, taking the logarithm, but I don't prefer that method. I just uh, I just remember the values of powers of two. So two power twelve is greater than or equals to four zero nine six because two power twelve is the is direct four zero nine six. So these many bits are required to address these many locations. So the answer is twelve. Now to address each byte, we have to first calculate the number of bytes in this memory. The number of bytes is the number of bytes equals the number of words. The number of words is four zero nine six into the number of bytes per each word is six uh, two because it has sixteen bits per word, and eight bits make a byte. So two, which is two power twelve. This is two power twelve, and this is two power one, which is nothing but two power thirteen. We got thirteen as the answer. So thirteen bits are required to address each byte. Now moving on to the next quest, next memory size. The number of words is one zero two four. So we must find two power n greater than or equals one zero two four. But two power ten equals one zero two four. So ten bits are required to address one zero two four locations. Ten bits. The number of bytes in this memory is thousand twenty four words into the number of bytes per each word is four. Thirty two bits is nothing but four words, four bytes. So two power ten into 2 power 2 which is nothing but 2 power 12 so 12 bits are required to address each byte in this memory scheme so let's move on to the next memory here the number of byte number of words is 256 so 2 power n greater than or equals 256 2 power 8 is nothing but 256 so we require 8 bits to address each word in this memory 8 bits and the number of bytes is 2 uh, 256 words into bytes per each word is 2 because 16 bit 16 bits means 2 word 2 bytes so 2 power 8 into 2 power 1 which is 2 power 9 so 9 bits are required to address each each byte in this memory now the last memory which is 512 by 64 here 64 is the number of bits per word and the number of bytes is number of bytes is 8 64 bits is nothing but 8 bytes so we are uh, 512 is 2 power n greater than or equals 512 n is 9 because 2 power 9 equals 512. So 9 bits are required to address each word. Now the number of bytes is 2 power 9 into 2 power four, 2 power 3 because we are having 3 bytes per word. 2 power 3, this is 3, equals 2 power 12. So 12 bits are required to address each byte in this memory scheme. Now we can observe here that these two bits are equal. This is because the number of words in this memory scheme and this memory scheme are different. But the number of bytes in both schemes are same. How? Because let's consider this 1024 words into 32 bits means 4 bytes which is 2 power 10 into 2 squared which is 2 power 12 so 12 bytes 2 2 power 12 bytes are there in this memory and 12 bits are required to address each byte in this scheme 512 times 64 bits means 8 bytes which is 2 power 9 into 2 power 3 
which is 2 power 12. So 12 bytes are 12 bits are required to address each byte and this memory has 2 power 12 bytes. So both have 2 power 12 bytes in their respective memories. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Until then, happy learning.